here's an interesting thought, and I'm gonna get this guy's name wrong, so I'm not even gonna not even gonna try. But um, he was on uh, Joe Rogan. He uh, was the one that talked about Anthony Bourdain. He was one mm. that got emotional. Uh, that gentleman in particular, he actually um, has lived an incredible life, like living over like with tribes and like learning like what human beings actually do. Like he's explored the world and. It's interesting about this because it's it's almost kind of like a human psychology thing is that it's like when you have nothing, you then become creative to find fun. Right. And from what I remember, there was a moment that he was laying down to go to sleep and everybody has like their huts or their tents or like whatever they're like all the families now all the people are sleeping in. And he started hearing noises like like or like just like different things. And it was all the men were making each other laugh. It was like they were just making funny, <laughs> stupid noises just like because of like, you know, hey, like, let's see if we can get, you know, so and so to like the bus tonight as yeah. far as like, oh, like it, see if we can get him laughing. Like, and it was so cool how he said it is that he's like, they have nothing else. They have each other. Right. They have themselves. See? And it's like you have to like it's it's so incredible that it's like there's people that exist on this planet that still have that magic. And it's so like so amazing to have that. And like it reminds me like whenever like there are days that I'm heavily on my phone, but there are days that I push my phone away or I do put it on do not disturb or like whatever, like it in a way, like it makes me scared to do it mm. because like, it, I know that that comes from a lot of like personal anxiety for like many different reasons, but it's one of those where it's like, we went from growing up in the nineties, having a landline that if, yeah. it, if it rang, we knew to pay attention to it because it was more than likely a parent from work or mom <laughs> would call from like, you know, uh, from, uh, from the office or yeah. dad would call or whatever. Like, that was kind of what shaped our day. Unless if we knew that like a grandparent was coming over that day mm -hmm. to pick us up or like, you know, whatever, like we are so connected now that it's one of those that when we disconnect, there's this, that that's like, weird. It's dude. It's, yeah. it, it's like more so like when I was in a relationship, it would be kind of impossible for me to do that because I'm somebody that wants to be connected all the time sure. and I want to be engaged. But in the same hand, even now, like I find myself doing it and like, that's not even the point anymore. It's like, there's this thing that allows me to know exactly when Joey sends me a guitar video or like when, you know, like Mike and I are talking about, you know, different things like, you know, with the deadheads or like whatever, mm -hmm. like it's just, it's so weird. And it's just, it's, it's something that I've tried to kind of overcome because I know that I don't want to rely on my phone completely because I am one of those people. It sucks. It's, but it's one of those where it's like, man, like I try to remember where like, it's like the whole idea of like the whole treehouse thing, but it's like George Carlin being like, yeah, he's like, like kids went outside and played with a stick. Do kids even play with a stick anymore? Like, right. no, like they, like they, they don't have that imagination. Like your stick is no longer a shotgun or a wand. It's, yeah. it's, it's a stick off a tree. You're going to throw it in the woods. Like it's, you crazy. know, I, I, I think that, we were, we were really blessed with the fact of growing up in the, you know, I grew up in the mid, in mid to late eighties, nineties, and early two thousands, mm -hmm. like, and you got the nineties and two thousands that I, I feel like those generations were the last ones that got to have that kind of freedom. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of thankful that I, that I, like I said, that I grew up like that, that the nineties and two thousands were probably, yeah, because I grew up in them, but they were the fucking best. I would yeah. not take those decades yeah. back for anything. No.